Good evening. I'm going to make another personal video. Things are becoming very thick. Very, um, people are not appreciating the Word of God. Remember how the Lord says that it's going to start in the house of God. That's us. People are betraying us more than ever, and they want blood. They don't like it that we share the word of God. They don't like that we talk so much about Jesus and what's coming. They don't want to know. They don't care. These people, and they're your loved ones, trust me. They're your children. They're your parents. They're your aunts, your uncles, your neighbors. The ones that love you the most are the ones that want to see you crucified to the cross. They want blood. They don't like that you're godly. They don't like that you're talking about the things that are coming. They don't like it. They can't relate. Even if they're born again, even, even when they say that they love the Lord Jesus, they want blood. I came before you. You are my family. I have no one else but the Lord. And things are getting really hard. I'm telling you by personal experience, things are getting hard. Um, they don't like ministries. They don't appreciate the word. They don't want to hear it. Yes, they've accepted the Lord. Absolutely. They've moved on with their lives. They've kept their earthly, earthly uh, ways their fleshy ways. They don't want to see or hear otherwise. They feel uh, insulted that you're even bringing up the word to them. They don't want to hear. They don't want to know. They want life to go on as normal. You know what I'm saying? Right now, things are getting really bad, really, really bad with uh, the body of Christ. We are being told right out that we don't hate, we don't want to hear the word. Leave us alone. We know, we know, we know. We don't want to be reminded. I don't want to hear you read the scripture for me, to me. Please don't give me a word from the, from the Lord. I don't want to hear it. Oh, you have a word for me from the Lord? No, keep it to yourself. I don't want to know. I don't want to hear it. Leave me alone. These people want to be left alone. They don't want to hear the word of God. It offends them. It offends them to the point that they're not putting up with it anymore. They're not putting up with us anymore. They're going to outright tell it like it is. And it's an outright lie, of course. They're, 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 they're going to accuse you. The accusations are getting bigger and bigger. And the offenses of hearing the word of God is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's happening to me, and I know it's happening to you. It's happening to me on a massive scale. Massive. And these are real close family members. Very close. They're telling us right out to our face, look, we don't want to hear it. We know. Um, you know, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear the end of days. They don't want to hear that we're at the last hour. They don't want to hear. They don't want to know that you are telling them for their own good. They want life to go on as normal, as usual. Let me tell you something. People are coming against us. And I had already done a video about a few days ago. What's coming up next? What's coming up, up next are... Massive accusations. Um, though they are greatly being offended by the word of God. They do not want to know where, we're, where we are in timeline. They're not interested. They're not interested. At one point, at one time, they were. But they're not. Now more than ever, they want to be a part of the world. They don't want it to cease. Let me tell you, times are getting really, really hard. And now more than ever, you're probably going to find yourself even more alone. And 
you're going to ask yourself, God, where are you? Personal experience, he's right there. He's right there. The advice that I'm going to give you is hold on tight to the Lord. Hold on tight. If even our own family members are offended by the word of God and are offended by us, and if we have a word for them from the Father, from Holy Spirit, they don't want to know about it. They don't want to know. Let me tell you something. You need to come to the Lord more than ever. You need to trust in the Holy Spirit 100% because it's going to be a bumpy road. Worse than before. Now they're absolutely going to turn away from us. They're absolutely going to turn away from us 100%. They don't want to associate with us. They desperately think that we need help. That something's wrong with us. We don't get it. We don't seem to get it. So they tell us. Oh, we get it all right. We get it all right. They don't want to hear what's coming. They don't want to know what's upon us. I'm asking you to come before the Lord more than ever. And give it all to the Father. Let Him work it out in our lives, what he's going to do for us. Um, I was just remembering, I just, Holy Spirit brought a video uh, into my mind just a little while ago as I was praying. He reminded me of the, of the video where I saw, I was re it, it was revealed to me in a vision of what it was, what it felt like to be left behind and what I and I just saw that video for myself and I distinctly remember that right before the transformation there's gonna be a time where you're gonna feel alone like nobody's there not even God himself or the Holy Spirit and that's gonna be right before the transformation that moment that time where you're going to feel so alone. And believe me, it's coming. Because already uh, our family members are tired of us. They are. They're tired of the word of God. They're tired of being told of what's coming. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to see you. And it's going to get rougher with us. But I'm here to tell you, in that vision that I saw, that I was shown, right before the transformation, there's going to be a moment and time where we're going to feel so alone that we're not even going to think that God, our Father, and the Holy Spirit are with us. But they are. They are. And that brings me to the three days of darkness. Um, the video that I just did on the three days of darkness, is it possible? The Lord says in, in Exodus that the Israelites had light they had light and I believe that we're going to be transformed I'm hoping it's going to be within a few weeks of this year that would be such a blessing to us all that are walking with the Lord and we are feeling that abandonment from everybody we are really feeling the sting of being alone, being abandoned, being um, cursed, being avoided for the word of God. And that leads me to the three days of darkness and the transformation. Because those three days of darkness is going to be darkness like we've never known before or felt. So before the, right before the transformation, there's going to be that moment that we're going to feel so alone. And that's when it's going to happen. That's when it's going to happen. So I leave it to you to go into the word. But this is what the Holy Spirit brought to my attention right now. Those three days of darkness in scripture, it clearly states that we're going to have light. That's the Holy Spirit in us. 
Is it possible in this, those three days of darkness we're going to receive our transformation? Jesus was in the tomb three days. And he, he transformed in those three days. Right before he comes out of the tomb, he's already transformed. He's already transformed. So take it to the Lord. Bring it to the Holy Spirit. These three days are coming soon. Let's hope that it's going to be this year. Let's hope that it's three weeks away from now. Get ready. Get ready. It's getting ugly. It's really getting ugly with us. We are being disparaged. We are being criticized. We are being abandoned. We are being talked about in such an ugly way that people don't like us anymore. They don't want to have anything to do with us that has to do with the Word of God and what's coming and what's upon us and what's about to fall upon us. Okay? I love you guys. Hang in there. Hang in there. Don't. You're not alone because I know I feel alone. But... I have the Holy Spirit and I have my Father, my Father God in heaven, who is ordaining every single step of the way. Okay? So I'll talk to you later, and I love you guys. You're not alone.